Hi, in today's video I'm going to be talking about how we can use Newsboat, which is a RSS reader for the command line. And when we open links, which would open in the W3M browser, have it automatically strip out all of the junk from the web page, all of the header stuff at the top, all of the links, all of the adverts, type it into W3M. Now, in a previous video, um, I showed you how you can set up the W3M browser to have a sort of reader view like Firefox, which will remove all of the links and, and extra ads and all that kind of stuff. And basically what you have to do is you install readability LXML and you do that with pip3 install dash dash user readability dash LXML and once you've done that, you create a key map um, in your W3M key map file. And that shortcut, which is comma um, dot, will basically strip out all of the content um, and just give you the actual article without any of the extra links and um, adverts. Um, basically, what I wanted to do was when I was creating that video, um, this one here, is be able to um, run one newsboat, and I can. Let me show you what I uh, what I mean. I can um, press O on the keyboard in newsboat and open this um, in the W three M browser, and you can see I've got to scroll down all the way down here um, to actually get to the content. So what this shortcut does in the W3M browser is it will basically clean up the web page using the Python readability um, library and pipe it back into W3M like this so it's all cleaned up. So that's great. So I can open, open a um, an article by pressing O and then I can press another keyboard shortcut and uh, it cleans up the the web page but what i wanted to be able to do was um skip the middle step i just wanted to go straight from this page here to the cleaned up page so what i can do now is i've created a shortcut key and added the created a new browser in newsboat which basically if i switch across to the configuration here um what you can do in the um, dot config newsboat um, config file is create external browsers um, that you will open with a shortcut key. What I've created is a macro here for dot. So my leader is um, comma. So when I press comma and dot, it's going to run this ch um, chunk of code. So it's going to set the browser to Python 3 um, readability, readability. And then we have the dash u option and the um, dash u which is the url from newsboat um, we send um, standard error to um, div null just to clean things up because um, i'm getting a sort of just a, a warning error with um, the readability program it doesn't stop it working but um, i'm just suppressing that from being shown in the terminal and then basically all i do is i pipe the results out into w3m and tell you and then tell it it say text html document um, and then it basically opens in browser and then it sets the browser back to the default so what i'll do now is just come across and show you how this works so instead of pressing o open the page and then pressing another keyboard shortcut clean the page up what can do now is just press a single um, keyboard shortcut which is comma dot boom straight away opens it in um, W3M uh, by piping it, piping the URL taken with the um, Python readability script, piping it into W3M and cleaning it up. And as you can see here, um, all the images work. Um, basically, in a previous video, I showed you how to build the ST terminal with port for W3M images working uh, without any flickering. So you can see there, that's all working perfectly. So basically, I can come into anything um, 
in here um, and open any of these links. Press a keyboard shortcut. Wait a second, and it cleans it all up. W3M. So basically, um, the setup's really simple. I said um, only. Only two two things to do: um, install readability. I'll put the link to this um, under the video. Once you've done that, basically, all you need to do is create a new browser. So again, we're creating the macro, and um, in my case, this is going to be comma and dot, and it creates the new set browser. Python 3-m readability.readability-u so, um, percent %u is the actual URL um, send the standard error to dev null and then pipe standard out into w3m fill it as a text HTML um, input and um, then we open it in the browser and um, <clears throat> set the browser back to the default and once you've done that, you'll be able to just hit a, um, a keyboard hotkey in Newsboat um, on any of the articles and have a cleaned up reader view of the um, of the page. So again, come into any of these. Um, and see how see if we've got any images. It looks like I found something. Didn't have any images. Because um, it basically strips out um, background images and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so maybe that wasn't a good example. Um, how to geek seems to be sort of a bit a bit better. Um, yeah. Read the article in the terminal with all the images without any flickering. And say again, I can open it in W3M like that and then keyboard shortcut. Or I can just directly from within Newsboat run Python readability, pipe it into W3M like that with one keyboard shortcut. And again, the, the advantage is that um, a lot of these sites, as you can see, when you open them up with W3M, you, you, some of them do have like skipped content and down here still halfway down the page, you know. It's, it's not easy to sort of navigate these kind of things and um, the font in the ST terminal looks really good, much better than the URXVT. Um, so that's setting up a uh, news boat with Python readability, and again, um, I did a video here about how to set up um, the W3M browser um, with a reader view and how to set up the keyboard shortcut, uh, which is down here. So I'll um, put a link to the um, config so across here. Ubuntu.file.config. Uh, newsboat big and you can see here that's the bit of code so i'll put a link um, to all these documents under the video but that's how you can clean up uh, web pages that you open from within newsboat and um, you could open this in um, other browsers like links as well if you wanted to instead of w3m as a way of basically cleaning up um, the articles and make them easier to navigate in a terminal browser